Hey guys, welcome back to Battalion Wars. In the last part, we defended a radar array from the Fat Woman. So now we're going to do something else. Operation POW. Two of our scouts have been taken captive. They have vital knowledge of the location of one of Tundra's key command posts. Get them back behind frontier lines and don't spare the horses. Alright, fine. No horses for you. Oh, whoopee, Brigadier Betty. What fun. Okay, but anyway, I really do consider her to be kind of the navvy of the... Uh, well, dang it, we're going to jump straight into it, I forgot. She's the navvy of this game. Good to see you again, Commander. Now listen up, because we need to move fast. During their assault on Windbreak Ridge, the Tundrans captured two of our scouts. They are holding them in this base. Your job is to rescue the scouts and use their recon to get them to the safety of our mobile camp to the north. Assault the Soldier enemy base sir. and rescue the prisoners. Those scouts are in possession of time-critical intelligence. You have less than six minutes to liberate their recon and drive them to our mobile camp. Deploy your bazooka bets against the enemy tank. Lock onto the tank, then use the C-stick to select your bazooka veteran. Press the Y button to send them in. Destroy the barbed wire to free the prisoners. All right, so... You free the prisoners, Commander. Now get behind the wheel of that recon. All right, so, you as soon as you free them, you pretty commander. much just... Head for the gold star. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm going to go ahead and bring her down a little bit so I can boys. talk can more. Um, after you the free... Prisoners, not too much. Stop <sighs> them at once. Af just the road, Ugh. She'll take you all the way home. You know, they're going to say probably some important stuff. Little but... advice, Commander. Those blue jerry cans will repair damage to your recon. Um, this is gonna be a pretty quick mission because all you do is you get that recon saved and then you just gotta Enemy drive out of here. Don't stop to show them your papers! <laughs> because, you know, in Turn Russia... Right, Commander. You decide. I'll take the... F left! Whoa! Jeez! Well, that was lucky. Watch out for those bazooka veterans! They'll put a dent in this operation Ow. for sure! In the operation of the car. Or... Whatever. Ha! I stole your jerry can. Well, I kind of want to, but why? Well, I'd like to see it, but I just know that I can't go over it. Because I'll probably die. Uh, that Taking that left will be a little bit faster, but it's a lot more dangerous. You know, because you got to deal with that uh, those tanks. So just be careful. It's up to you. It's either faster or possible death. And honestly, this is a really, really easy little race to do. Uh, you won't really die unless you get stuck somewhere. Like, if you get stuck in a corner. Ah! Jeez! No, no, no. What the? Okay. That's another thing I will uh, complain about in this particular game. Uh, the controls for the vehicles are very, very finicky. They're not bad. I'm not going to say that they're... Whoa! The Dang, dude! We did like a... What is that? Nothing slow them down. We did a 540 just from bouncing on the ground. Jeez, what are these made of? Like, freaking gummy worm? Gummy stuff? Jeez. Ow! Screw you and your rockets. Down the mountain, Commander. Woo! Skiing down the mountain with a car. Um... The controls are finicky. They're not bad, but they can be just a little bit annoying sometimes. That's about it. The only time they ever mess up is like... Oh, fuck. Ah. Jeez, oh, watch out for those ammo dumps. Watch out for those ammo dumps. You will very much love yourself for doing so. Okay. This is where you can die. If you get stuck in there... You're kind of dead because you got tanks and a gunship on you. Fight for the Silver Star, Commander, and try not to get lost. All right, now uh, let me see. Okay, when you're driving through the woods, it might be in your best interest to do this. This is your map. I haven't explained it yet, 
but this is your map. Now, uh, I want you to check something out here. Okay, you see how we can see these three things on the little, the thing down there, the, the zoomed in thing. Now, if you press and hold the C stick, like if you press it up or down, you can zoom out. Now, when you are zoomed in like that, you can see things much clearly, much more clearly, and you can identify individual units. And when you are, you are this zoomed in, you move much slower. But when you're zoomed out, you can move much faster, and you can just take a really quick look around the place. So that's where we started. Follow the road, and we are here now. So anyway, this is how you can get a quick look around the woods to see where you are. So we're about halfway through. But anyway, continuing. So that map can be very helpful for identifying what's up ahead. You can actually just scroll through the entire level to see what you're going to be up against about the entire thing. And it, do, it is in real time. It tracks actual unit movement. Nice so, party, Commander, but we're not out of the woods yet. Uh, if you see a tank at the end of the level and you start a big event where everybody's coming to attack you, it will show its movement. Another Tundran roadblock. Find a way past. I already did. You don't even have to tell me how because I already know. I've been stepping on it the whole time. Shut up. You're not the one driving. You don't have to deal with a freaking bouncy car. But seriously, what would this need to be? I mean, the shocks are freaking amazing. We don't spare any expense on our shocks. You did it, Commander. The Frontier Camp is dead ahead. They're waiting for us. Now, park the roof. Our scouts are safe, Commander. Now, okay, Commander. This baby is your ticket to victory. Take good care of our... No, I'm good. Now, we have a new thing to use. We have a missile vet. will not leave this clearing, Brigadier. As you can see there. He says, Commander. How about we prove him wrong? Okay. Then, <sighs> prove to them the futility of war against the Tundran territories. Um, the new veteran that we have to work with is a missile vet, and missile vets are anti-air. They are anti-air infantry with a missile launcher and stuff like that that is guided toward aircraft. And when you try to fire it at ground units, it kind of just, it doesn't lock onto them and just spirals out of control. It can be used at inc incredibly close range. It can be used against them, but it's not really reliable. Uh, not as reliable as like a machine gun or anything like that. So I would recommend using them um, against, you know, infantry and stuff. I mean. I'll screw you. Nova's bazooka vets pose a serious threat to your tank. Take them out with your infantry. I know. Oh, man. I'm the strategist here. I've already beaten this game, like, four times. And, yes, that's is, uh, is actually how many times I've played through this game, even though it's, like, just mission-based. That's how much I enjoy playing this game. I know. It's kind of surprising. Oh, no. We lost one. Whatever will we do? Uh, <laughs> um, I wouldn't recommend losing your tank here because you really don't have a lot of infantry to work with. So if you ever do get low on health and you don't have a jerry can to work with, you know, those blue cans that come out of vehicles and stuff, uh, I'd recommend just driving through tents because a lot of times, here, I'll show you. Let's see, go ahead and drive through this tent. And this one. Aha, see, right in there. In tents. Aha. Tents often have uh, jerry cans inside them. Oh, crap, there's a... Gunship there. Ah, get out of global mode. And then have your missile vets attack. And they will take it out. Ow, ow, ow. They killed one of my rifles. I gotta kill that tank. Ah, bazookas. Get him. And this is just the easy stuff. And you can already see how it can get hectic. You rescued the prisoners and defended the base. Now that's what I call a victory. Yeah, yeah, even though we lost our rifles. <laughs> prove the most worthy opponent, Brigadier Betty. I look forward to our next encounter with great anticipation. Me too, Marshal Nover. Better luck next time. Marshal Nover, huh? But anyway, um, that's just the easy stuff, and you can already see how it would be hectic. Um, ooh, we got an S. Cool. S is obviously the highest you can, uh, the highest award you can get. It does not matter. You see your total down there, the total percentage? The percentage itself doesn't matter. Like, if you're trying to go for 100%, you don't have to get that perfect 100%. All you need to do is get that S if you want to get 100%. So, um, the perfect 
absolute perfect 100% is not required. It's just that S. So anyway, um, you've seen a little bit of the strategy. We've worked with some more vehicles. We drove through some places, and we got to see a new uh, unit in action, the Missile Veteran. So next time, we will go ahead and do yet another mission, defeating the Russians in our home territory. So I will see you guys next time. Sorry about the short-ish video, but... I don't care. You'll eat it up anyway. So, I'll upload what I want. Okay, anyway, I'm being a douche. I will see you guys next time.